In this video, we're going to talk about the control variables that you write on your lab report. Now, students get very confused between control variable and control groups. These two are not the same thing. When we say control groups is here, that's a group that is not going to go through the process of being manipulated by the independent variable. What I mean by that, let's say you want to play with the pH or the temperature, right? There will be one group that will not be played. They will stay in a specific temperature that will not be used as a manipulation. So for example, here you can see a plant grow in a room temperature of 25. That's a control group. And then the rest of the same plants are going to be doing 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. That's the manipulation of the independent. You see the difference? So you can use from 0 to 40 and look at their data and compare to the control group where all the plants stay at 25 at all times. That's what a control group is. Now, control variables, that is your procedure. And in your procedure, what are the things that you're using that stays the same at all times? If you use the same beaker, you do the same movement, you do the same amount, these are the control variables. So it can be uh, same vase, same soil, same plant, same amount of water, etc. That's what the control variable it is. Now, you remember that when you do an experiment, think about it, look at your experiment in front of you, in your lab report, right? And look at all the equipments that you see in front of you. And what are the equipments that stays the same all the time, using exactly this guy, exactly that, exactly plants, all the things that stay exactly the same, even though you're repeating the trials like five times, make sure that these are in your list of control variables because that's how we as an IB examiners will look. We're going to see, did you think of every single control variable there is? So if you go too brief, we are expecting that you don't know how to control it. We want you to go big, but a big does not make three, four pages of it. One or two pages, that's good enough, okay? So I'm going to show you an example of a table that shows a lot of controls and that's how you need to do it, okay? So here is a table that you can use. You have the control variable right here in one column. You have how it is measured and why it is controlled. Because this is how you're going to prove to the IB examiner that you know the reasons to control, why you're controlling it, and you know the things that must stay the same throughout the experiment to make this experiment reliable. So here you see the weight of a ball. We didn't weight the ball. Now, how it is measured. The measures you tell me exactly the measurement that you're going to use and the equipment that you're going to use. So here's five gram using weight scale and you give the unit of that weight scale. That's how you show showing what are the equipment. What is the why? The why is if the weight ball changes, then it will increase the amount of force and that will cause the velocity of the cup to be higher with the citation. So basically the why is the biological information. Do not, and I mean, please do not say, oh, because if we change the weight, then it will change the result of the experiment. That's too general. That's too brief. You're not going to get points for it. See, if you, if you notice here, we said that changing the weight or the mass caused to change the force, and that force caused the whole velocity to change. So there was an explanation. It was more physics, but it was still an explanation. So we explain the, the, what we say, biological, chemical, or physical explanation, the reasons why you want to keep it the same. If you keep writing, it's because if you change, it will change the result. You're not getting points for it. You basically not explain. Another example, temperature. I put exactly the temperature that I want. I want to keep it at 10. And I'm telling you the equipment that I'm going to use by telling exactly the unit that I want to be in there. And again, look, if the temperature is higher or lower, it might cause the particles to move slower or even faster does a factoring with collision rate. Again, he explained the collision rate and the movement. Some students will say, oh, if I change the temperature higher, then it will change the result. Not getting any points. Now let's go to the material section. The material sections, you also need to put them in detail. It can be bullet points, it can be table, as you wish, but here are the most important things that you have to include. You're going to have to include the name. What is the name of that material? The name of an equipment. Okay, the name of a plant. The names of beakers. The amount. How many of them there be? The type. What is exactly the type of beakers that you're going to use? What type of sugar you're going to be using? And mention all the units and the uncertainties that are applied if, of the equipments they're using on the amounts you're doing. So here is an example of it, right? Name. It's a beaker. The amount. Three beakers, the type, it's a glass beaker, and the units, three 
of 250 millimeters of millimeters of glass beakers. You see how detailed that is? This right here, it shows you that you have explained all of it. So whenever you want to write the entire material procedure, going back here, these four informations are extremely important for everything that you write. Do I have to write pencil and paper? No, you don't. But you do need to write all the material, as in sense, the plants, the sugars, the enzymes, the amount of water that you're going to put there, all the equipment such as spatulas, beakers, flasks, uh, colometers, just trying to think here, thermometers, probes, all of these stuff need to be written down. If you do this, then the list of materials, you got to check and you got to get. So on the next video, what I'm going to talk about is the procedure as well as the safety measurements of the procedures. So wait for the next video to get on that section. And remember with Naomi, you can get that seven. I guarantee you. See you on the next video.